Hey, Pierce here, and uh, I'm back with another episode. Hey, I'm fishing Polina Lake today. Um, it is the end of September, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna see a couple of different footages. Um, I'm weaving two different days of fishing Polina Lake into this video. Um, the first day I fished it, it was absolutely bright and clear and blue, and it was actually hot out here. Uh, that was only one week ago. As you can see, it is almost completely fogged in. It's colder than hell, um, and um, I'm definitely gonna have to work for my fish today. So, a very overcast, um, a, a wind is starting to pick up a little bit, and uh, fishing for large trophy-sized brown trout and some rainbow trout to bring home for the, uh, for the barbecue. So, um, we'll see how today goes, but I plan on paddling the entire exterior uh, edge of the lake, probably around 15 feet of water for the most part, 15 to 30. Fishing with a little shad wrap, one of these little deep diving suspending guys with a little stinger hook on the back. I was missing a lot of strikes the uh, last time I was out here. Um, it was uh, uh, very discouraging. I was getting hits, but nothing was hooking up. So um, I think they're short striking all of these lures. And so I'm put a little stinger hook on here to see if I can't get something. But uh, never caught a brown trout before. We'll see how that goes. And uh, let's uh, let's get trolling. See what it looks like out there. It's uh, it's a little nasty. Definitely getting some hole slap. Yeehaw! Pretty sporty out here. Going back on the other side of the lake is going to be really interesting to see. Uh, at least my bow will be into the waves, which will be nice, so I can cut them but it'll still be really interesting to see how the ride back is. So, uh, still dragging my lure at uh, 40 feet and uh, sparking lots of fish. There are some big, big fish holding at about 40 feet. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm trying to get down there. I'm trying to get my deep diving lure down there so we can at least get a little peek at it. So, all right. So we hook up here soon. Fish. We got a lot of a lot of waves here. About 30 feet of water. Yeah, nice rainbow. Woo! All right. Glad somebody liked my offerings. I am still in the white caps. I'm gonna land this fish real quickly. I'm just gonna throw this guy in the boat right now until I can get in a safe spot. All right, well, there she is. Decent sized rainbow. All right, you're gonna hide underneath my seat. Real healthy fish, decent size eating. And uh, I'll leave them right there. And this is what I caught them on. It's a little uh, shad wrap, a little silver shad wrap. And I was using a uh, little bit of anchovy super gel from uh, uh, Procure, which is obviously great. So I'm gonna tear this thing back up. We're gonna get back in the water here. doing is I'm just dragging this this uh, deep diving shad wrap, the uh, Rapala shad wrap. Um, just kind of dragging it through about 16 feet of water. 16 to 25 feet is kind of where I like to stay. Um, right outside of the weed lines on the south side of the lake. Um, and uh, you 
I'll go up to 40 feet deep. Sometimes I, if I see a marking fish out there, I'll, I'll see if I can't drag it across them just to see if I can get it to rise up. But for the most part, uh, all the fish are you know, concentrated near the shore uh, because this lake is so deep. Uh, you know, there's not a lot in the middle. It's a big caldera and it's about 250 feet deep, roughly right in the middle. I ran across it with my, uh, with my uh, sound finder or my fish finder and it's just a big flat desolate featureless bottom out there. Uh, my guess is that the kokanee are everywhere in this lake but um, if you're fishing for the brown trout and the rainbows they're going to be a lot closer in uh, probably in the 40 feet or less range uh, and uh, because that's really where you know all the bait fish are all the bugs are all that good stuff so uh, it's really quick to get into the deep water right now i just made a little bit of an adjustment and i'm in 70 feet of water now and i'm only 150 feet from shore so I'm gonna go back in here and see if I can get back into my zone. Uh, it's basically a constant adjustment all the time on this lake. You're gonna be near shore most of the time though. So um, that's, or at least that's how I'm fishing, so. Yeah, we're on again. Let's see what we got. 10 feet of water this time. I'm gonna guess it's a rainbow. And it is. Just a little guy this time. Hey guys, it's September 20th. This is Pierce here fishing on Polina Lake in Central Oregon. Uh, gonna be fishing for a brown trout and some rainbow trout. Let's see what, uh, see what we can dig up today. Say hello. Dog, huh? She got this beautiful scenery here at Polina Lake. It is weird out here. Very volcanic. Alright, I'm on. Let's see what we got here. Beautiful rainbow. Woo! Beautiful rainbow. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look at the beautiful colors on this fish. Woo! Healthy, healthy rainbow. Let's see what it looks like here. Oh, and catch and release. Well, it was a tough time on the water today. Uh, I really had to pull into certain coves and reload the batteries on the GoPros. I pretty much lost my batteries at some point. Um, it was absolutely a disaster on that lake. My fingers were too cold to actually pull the batteries out and even change them out of the GoPros. Um, so uh, the w wind was just whipping. It was really a bad day out there, but uh, I, did, uh, I did end up with a couple of couple of beautiful fish here um, really gorgeous uh, I got a couple more over here as well um, but uh, they really are they really are some beautiful fish 